Now, from the home of the Raiders, since 2020, we're inside the spectacular Allegiant Stadium here in Las Vegas. Here's the veteran Will Lutz to get us going. And off we go from Vegas. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The first run for Alexander Madison. And a nice run to start out. Six yards on the first play of the game. The shotgun, a throw from Inchu. He's got his man, Devontae Adams. 13 yards on the catch there. First down, Vegas. We've now seen this quarterback show that he can beat you from both inside and now outside of the pocket. The ability to use his legs to flush out and buy time for his receivers. They uncover downfield, leads to a big pickup. They put Adams in motion. A handoff, running left, it's Madison. He'll get this just past the 45 as he's taken down. Motioning one of the tight ends. They'll stick with Madison. Finds room inside the 40. A big run. They finally get to him and bring him down. A big play there for the Raiders. A pickup of 44 yards. Well, how about that for a statement on your opening drive, Mike? I mean, we knew coming in that they wanted to get this run game going. Then, man, boy, did they ever. Here's a run. Some room to run as he takes it down to the two-yard line. This just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's a powerful enough runner. you got to have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. They'll run with Madison. He will fight his way to the end zone. Alexander Madison. Touchdown Raiders. Exactly the way they scripted this one. A beautiful opening drive, Greg. Able to find the end zone on the game's first possession. And Mike, the word that comes to mind looking at that drive is execution. And that's exactly what they talked about all week long. They wanted to come out early in this game and establish an early rhythm. And that's exactly what they did with that touchdown drive. Seven nothing is our score as this kick is sent into the air. Here's Smith to return it. He's across the 20, taken down just shy of the 25. So here's a first and 10 now. They'll start from the 24. A first carry for the former Tar Heel, Devontae Williams. And a nice run. Get him about nine. It'll bring up second down. They'll send a tight end in motion. They'll go again with Williams. He'll take this for a couple, but the official signal, he has enough first down. 
This offense, they're not interested in taking the deep shot here. Second and short, the way they're running the ball, pound the rock, reset the downs, and just keep the drive alive. From the 35, it's first and 10. Now Nick's going to look to throw. He's got his receiver. It's Portland Sutton. And good yardage there after the catch. They'll wind up with a gain of seven on first down. Second down, a run with Williams. And they bring him down, but not until he crosses midfield. It'll be a pickup of 10. Good for a Denver first down. We are through one. It's the Raiders with the early lead. And we're back in Vegas after this. They'll come up here first and ten. Here's a handoff to Williams. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. Give him ten more on that one. And another first down. Let's give some love to the big guys up front here, Mike. The offensive line is looking good here early to start the game. A couple nice big explosive runs. Expect them to continue to lean on the big guys up front as the rest of this game unfolds. On first down, right back to Williams. And he'll take this forward for about three. It's second down. Working out of the gun, it's Nix. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. They've been a little up and down in this first half. I mean, they have less than 80 yards of total offense and halftime loom. So missed throws like that, those are missed opportunities. They've got to hit the plays when they have them. If they want to have a chance to leave here with a win. The one thing they couldn't have there, the sack that might take them out of field goal range. Well, Mike, the other day we heard how the offensive coordinator wanted to start fast offensively, but here so far it's been the pass rush in the defense who's gotten out to the quick start. And it's fourth down, so here comes Riley Dixon to punt. Deep for the Raiders, it's Trey Tucker. And this is going to work out for him. Out of bounds, and they'll mark it inside the 10. The Raiders offense ready to see the football for the second time. We'll see how they want to attack things here. Backed up deep in their own end. It's first and 10. Working out of the gun, it's Minshew. He gets this one to Tucker. And he's taken down. 35. Don't get that often during the season. First play of the drive picks up 29 yards. Well, let's give some credit to the big boys up front in the trenches. They knew that blitz was coming. They held up just long enough that the quarterback could get that ball out safely and results in a completion. On the give, this is Madison. And he'll be taken down as we tick down to the two-minute warning. Throwing on second down is Minshew. Well, over the middle, brought in by Adams. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. They get 21 on that one. Good for a Raider first down.
From the gun, here's Minshew. That's caught. It's the tight end, Brock Bowers. And they'll take this down inside the 35. First time these two have connected this afternoon, and it'll wind up being a first down. The drag route, we used to say this is day one install. Every single offense in the NFL has this sort of route, especially for the tight end position. And depending on the speed and the, the catchability of the tight end, sometimes it can lead to some of the biggest gains. First catch for him on the afternoon, and it results in a first down. Mike, you've heard me say it a thousand times. The easiest down to throw the ball in the NFL is first down. I hate when teams wait till later in the possession to throw the ball. So early first down completion, you're on the plus side of the field. Now you're thinking strike. Touchdown, field goal. But either way, I'm coming away with points. To the air once more is Minshew. That one punt by Tucker. Now time out Vegas. That is their second. As they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. to throw once more. Here's Minshew. Over the top. He's got it. Trey Tucker. Touchdown, Vegas. Carlson now for the extra point. He's got it. And the Raiders move out on top. 14 to nothing. Still a little time. Final minute of this first half. We'll see if they can do anything with this kickoff that is coming their way. offense can see what they can do in the final minute of this first half. They're staring at a two-touchdown deficit. 14-0 the score as the offense tries to regroup and get going with first and ten. They'll throw. It's Knicks. Left side. That's complete. It's Sutton. They'll mark them down up at the 44-yard line. The Broncos offense going to get it one last time here late in the opening half. They'll start out first down and 10. From the shotgun, here's Knicks. This one caught by Patrick. Now a timeout, Denver. That's their second. They'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go until halftime. Second down. Knicks. He was looking for Marvin Mims there. And third down coming up. So as halftime looms, Mike, they have to find a way to capitalize on this drive right here and make sure they end the half with some sort of points. Now, that incompletion, not ideal, but at the very least, it stops the clock. Catch your breath, get back in the huddle. And this next play, it's got to be a got-to-have-it best play call. Well, they hook up again, second time on this drive. And this one's good for 18 yards and a first down. 
Well, there's not a lot to this route. Man coverage and you got a drag route. Give him a little something off the line and go. Win with speed. Good, accurate ball on the front shoulder pad. Allows him to pick up the rest after the catch and leads to a big game. And good yardage there after the catch. They'll wind up with a gain of seven on first down. now it's Will Lutz to try the field goal. This will be a 38-yard attempt. Lutz's kick is good. And the Broncos are on the board just before halftime. And when you find yourself down double digits, you don't want to make habit of settling for these field goals. It does allow them to chip away a little bit and cut into this deficit, but they've got to find a way to score touchdowns. Seven seconds, all that remains, till halftime. And the kick is away. And this one is fielded in the end zone, will not be returned. So it'll come out to the 30. The Raiders' offense going to get it one final time in this first half. They built a nice lead for themselves here. They'll try to add to that, beginning with first down. They do try to run it out as they start on the ground. And they'll gain about six there as it's up past the 35-yard line. The Vegas offense ready to get rolling again. They'll work now on second and four. Putting the tight end in motion. Again, it's Madison. And he's going to be taken down as time runs out on this first half of play. So we reach halftime here in Vegas. And the Raiders are in the lead. As we send you to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with EA Sports. Halftime report. It's all yours, Coach. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Broncos offense looking to get back to work as we begin this third quarter. The deficit is double digits, so work to do as they begin this drive with first and ten. Back to throw is Nix. And he's going to have to eat this one. Really nice start for this defense here early through the first quarter. Two different players each reporting a sack. Offensive line's going to have to get together on the sideline with their coach and identify where's the weakness in our protection? How can we get extra bodies and extra attention? Because we still got a long way to go in this one. Now, a second down throw for Nix. And it's complete to the sideline. Nice job getting both feet down inbound. This is why the timing of these routes is so critical. If that ball is thrown a little bit later, he's unable to keep his feet in bounds, but instead the quarterback is on time and accurate, and the receiver does a nice job not only securing the catch, but ensuring that both feet remain in bounds. On third down, they'll set up to throw. Give him 13 on that screenplay, and a first down. We see this week in and week out, Mike. These running backs in today's game, they really have the skill set of a wide receiver. So if you're going to guard them one-on-one -on -one, and you know the offense is going to use him in the passing game, you better have that guy. You better have that matchup guy that you're confident to put on him and say, okay, you're going to go out there in space and defend a receiver like this. And after plays like that, I'm not sure how much more man coverage they can afford to play. The first round pick looking right at home in this offense. It's a first down. Points have certainly been hard to come by in this one today, Mike, but it seems like this drive has been what they've been searching for. A little bit of rhythm, the ability to sustain. Now they got to finish. Now they got to capitalize on these first downs and go finish with six. That's going to be 
caught. It's Marvin Mims. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. But the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. On second down, it's Knicks. To the outside, hauled in by Sutton. He'll be out of bounds, but after picking up the first down on a gain of seven. Certainly not the biggest play of the day, but a good example of picking up positive yardage, staying ahead of the chains by a well-timed ball and a well-timed route. Hicks, now to throw it here on first down. That is caught. And the Broncos are going to have a first and goal. Very nearly a touchdown. He's going to be marked out of bounds just shy of the pylon. A first down there. Gain of 14 yards. Well, a chance to get right back in it here. First down and goal. They'll run. It's Williams. Powering forward. He's in. Javante Williams. Touchdown, Broncos. Greg, sometimes we say it too often. That was an important drive. That one really felt important for them to edge a little bit closer. Yeah, now the question is, Mike, yeah, the offense does their job. But can the defense get a stop? They've got to continue to get the ball back to their offense. Let them build on that previous drive because they've still got some work to do. Everything's about matchups, especially down here this close to the goal line. I think my guy is better than your guy. I'm going to put him in a position to have success, throw it up to him, and let him do the rest. Teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. Here comes Amir Abdullah on the return. Now an opening past the 30. They finally get him down, but he gets all the way up close to the 40-yard line. The Raiders offense getting ready for their opening possession of this second half. They lead by a field goal as they go to work with a first and 10. In motion is Myers. They'll start on the ground, and here's Madison. And he tries to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not happen here. I think he's going to lose a yard. When you can get this level of run support out of your secondary, Mike, man, what an advantage for any defense. This defensive back clearly reads run, gets off his block, and he's able to take down the back for a loss of yards. Now Minshew, over the middle, that's the tight end, Bowers. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. They get 20 on the connection. First down, Vegas. It just seems like every year, Mike, the tight end position just continues to grow within the passing game and establishes a bigger and bigger role. And listen, I know I'm biased, but if you want to have a good passing game, you better have a good tight end. And he'll get forward for about a yard. D.J. Jones, the big defensive tackle, with the stop. So, three quarters have come and gone. Back with more after the break. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. Here's second and nine. Man in motion here is Tucker. Minshew gonna look to throw. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. They get 18 on the pitching catch. Good for a Raider first down. Anybody who thought this coach was going to get conservative with this late lead is sadly mistaken, Mike. They're out here still throwing haymakers with this passing game. 
They're not content with just having the lead. They're looking to increase it. On first down, a run with Madison. And a nice run. Get him about nine. It'll bring up second down. First down. On the handoff, it's Madison. And he'll be taken down as the clock ticks towards two minutes to play. A third and two. They'll drop to throw. That one taken in. To Kobe Myers. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Now Carlson to add the extra point. He's got it. And the Raiders will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. Here's Carlson now. He'll kick this one off. Following the touchdown on the other end. On the return, here comes Marvin Mims. And he is stopped at the 25. The drive will begin there. Back onto the field comes the Denver offense. The deficit is at 10, so an important drive forthcoming. Getting started with first and 10. Throwing is Nix. He connects with Mims. And he'll be brought down, but not before they get this all the way up near midfield. Can't ask for much more. 22 yards on the first play of the drop. It's been tough sledding for this offense all day today, Mike, but especially here in the second half. So they are just in desperate need of a spark. Just something to get their offense into a little bit of a rhythm if they want to have any chance to find themselves back into this game here late. And he's going to be taken down at the 30-yard line. Now a timeout, Denver. That's their second. And they'll have a chance to talk things over after picking up that first half. Really nice job there to move the chains early in this drive, but now as they approach midfield, continue to keep your foot on the gas. Don't get conservative. Don't start sitting on the ball. Cross midfield and go. Anytime you find yourself on your opponent's side of the field, you have to be thinking points. Nick snap on first and ten. Got a man over the middle. There's Sutton. And they are in great shape. He's taken down inside the ten. That is a gain of 22, and it sets up first down and goal. 
Well, they certainly aren't wasting any time marching down the field. I mean, you only need one hand to count how many plays they've run, and yet they find themselves first and goal inside the low red zone. And this is going to be a touchdown. Hold everything. They are not done yet. Will Lutz now for the PAT. He's got it. And the Broncos are back within a field goal. The lead is three. With one timeout remaining, all they can really do here is try to recover an onside kick. He's to midfield. With the rule changes on kickoff, Mike, it's just so hard to really expect to recover an onside kick nowadays. There's a lot of people pushing for kind of a radical change to this. Hey, can we make it fourth and 15? Offense gets the go. If they convert it, they keep the ball. I'm not sure that ever happens. But we can see here, an onside kick, not much of a chance. The defense still with all three timeouts at their disposal as the quarterback's down to an E. The Raiders' offense about ready to take over once more. They'll have a short field looking to build on the lead. formation here as he's down to a knee celebrates it's a win for the Raiders they proved much the best in this one get a solid performance in all three phases of the game and ride that to victory and that'll do it for my partner Greg Olson for our entire team I'm Mike Tirico this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports the black hole celebrates the Raiders winners here We'll see if there are other winners outside. So long from Vegas.